Hey guys, welcome back to Raj Tech India. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to transfer your EPF amount from exempted establishment to unexempted establishment. Here the exempted establishment means they maintain their own EPF trust. Whereas unexempted establishment means here the PF trust will be maintained by the government. There is not much difference between transferring your EPF amount from exempted to unexempted establishment and normal EPF transfer process that means unexempted to unexempted. There is a small difference. Let's see what is the difference and how to transfer your EPF amount from exempted establishment to unexempted establishment. To transfer your EPF amount, login in your UN member portal. If you have two UN numbers, then login with your latest UN number that means UAN account related to your present unexempted employer. If you have same UAN number, then log in with your UAN number and password. In UAN member portal, to transfer your EPF amount, go to online services and click on one member, one EPF account. When we click on this option, this page will open. Here you can find an option called select details of previous accounts which are to be transferred. In normal EPF transfer process, we can choose either previous employer or present employer. For example, if you choose present employer, then your PF transfer request will go to your present employer. In that case, they have to approve your EPF transfer request in their EPF website. If you choose your previous employer, then your request will go to your previous employer. In normal PF transfer process, that means from unexempted to unexempted establishment, you can choose either previous or present employers. But in exempted to unexempted PF transfer process, you need to choose only previous employer. If you choose present employer, then you will get this error. Previous establishment is PF exempted. Hence, claim cannot be submitted to present employer. So we need to choose only previous employer. And after selecting previous employer, enter your previous PF account number or if you have two UN accounts, then in that case, you can enter your previous UN number. After entering your PF account number or UN number, click on get details, then your PF account details will be visible to you. Now click on get OTP. Now a OTP will be sent to your mobile number and enter that OTP and click on submit. Now your PF transfer request will be sent to your previous employer. To check the claim status of your PF transfer request, Go to online services and click on track claim status. Once we click on track claim status, this page will open. Here you can check the claim status of your PF transfer request. Here the PF transfer request is pending at previous employer. Once the previous employer approves this request, then this request will be sent to the respective EPF branch office. After their approval, the EPF amount will be transferred to the present EPF account of the employee. And remember, once you submit the PF transfer request, download this form, PF transfer form. Here you can see printable form that in download this form and this form will look like this. Here put your signature and submit the scanned copy of this form along with your other card and your PAN card to your previous employer. You can submit the soft copies that means scanned copies of this form and your other and PAN card or if you want to submit the hard copies then you can courier these forms to your previous employer. After submitting all these forms to your previous employer then within 20 days your EPF amount will be transferred to your present EPF account. In normal PF transfer process you don't need to submit all these forms to all these scanned copies of this form and other and PAN card to your previous employer but in PF transfer from exempted to unexempted, you need to submit these forms to your previous employer. So this is a small difference. I hope you like this video and if you still have any questions, then please ask your questions in the below comment section. And if you like this video, then please share and subscribe to Rajtech India.